Good afternoon. Welcome to the 2020 Townsweb Archiving Digitization Grant Awards. What a year it has been. Thank you for joining us remotely, and I trust you are keeping safe and well. Some quick housekeeping notes before we get started. The announcement will be recorded so that we can share it with others who are unable to join us. We will be sharing the winner's announcement through our blog shortly, so keep an eye out for this in the coming days. Please feel free to drop an introduction into the chat. An introduction to our team. My name is Casper and I will be your host for the Townsweb Archiving 2020 Digitization Grant Announcement. We are joined by Paul, our Managing Director. Paul will shortly be announcing the winners along with and on behalf of our judges. Marshall, our Marketing Executive, who is responsible for putting together the grant each year, and his colleague Jess, our content marketing executive, who is working tirelessly behind the scenes to provide you with all the information necessary on the grant. Jess is going to be monitoring the chat, so please feel free to join her in showing your support for the winning applications. An introduction to our judges. It is a pleasure to introduce our panel of judges, John, Joe, and Paul. We would like to thank, welcome Jo to the grant as it is her first year on the panel and also say a huge thank you to all our judges as once again they've done an amazing job about the Townsweb Archiving grant. Townsweb Archiving have been supporting the cultural heritage sector with their digitization grant for the past five years. During these years we have supported over 80 organizations across the UK to digitize their collections. We've invested £80,000 into the grant to support cultural heritage organisations and will be continuing to do so for future years. The projects we have helped fund in previous years have been truly inspiring and we're very proud to be supporting local and national heritage through our digitisation grant. So what's on offer this year? This year, we have leveled out the grants to provide three successful applicants with £3,000 each towards their digitization projects. The award is open to all UK-based organizations. We will also be providing £500 of match funding to all shortlisted application applicants, and we'll be contacting these organizations individually shortly after today's winner's announcement. I would like to take the opportunity to congratulate all applicants. It's been a challenging year and all of us at Townsweb Archiving are glad to be able to continue the support with this year's digitization grant. A very quick plug, then I promise we are moving on to the awards. With the increased accessibility of collections becoming so important for digital collection holders, Marshall and I have been running a series of webinars to showcase some great tips for online discoverability. If you would like to join us on the 15th of December at 10 a.m., it will be great to see you there. We will fire out sign-up links following this announcement. Okay, so the moment everybody's been waiting for, the Townsweb Archiving Digitization Grant Announcement. I'm now going to hand over for a pre-recorded video message from one of our judges, John Chambers, announcing the first of our successful applicants for the 2020 Digitization Grant. Hello, I am John Chambers, Chief Executive of the Archives and Records Association, which is the leading membership organization for those working in or interested in archives, records management and archive conservation across the UK and Ireland. I'm very honored to be a judge for these awards. And as usual, the standard of entries was very high and scoring was very close. I'm very pleased to announce a winner of a Townsweb Archiving Grant for 2020. And the winner is the Corinthian Casuals Football Club. The Corinthian Casuals Football Club was formed as a result of a merger between two significant amateur teams who, in themselves, made an important worldwide contribution to the development of football across the world, including in Brazil and influencing the founders of Real Madrid. The club's archive consists of match day programmes and newsletters dating back to the early 19th century. And the vision is to make this historically valuable and also vulnerable collection 
accessible to historians, journalists, and most importantly, football fans around the world. So I'm pleased to confirm Corinthian Casuals is a winner of a Townsweb archiving grant. Many congratulations. So a huge congratulations to the Corinthian Casuals Football Club for their successful application digitization of historical match day programs. In no particular order, I now hand over to Paul for the second of our successful applicants for the 2020 digitization grant. Over to you, Paul. Thanks, Casper. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Paul Sugden, Managing Director here at Townsweb Archiving and we're the proud providers of the annual digitization grant. 18 months ago, I was doing this announcement from a packed, non-socially distanced ARA conference hall in Leeds. How times have changed this year, and I know it's been very, very tough for all of us. I do get a sense though, that through these times, there has been a renewed vigor to digitize and make available important and not easily accessible archives. And I hope that these grants go some way to helping three UK organisations with that goal. Thank you to John Chambers for announcing the first winner. And I'd like to send my congratulations too to Corinthian Casuals Football Club. And so moving on to the second winner of the TWA digitization grant for 2020. And this goes to Liverpool Cathedral. Liverpool Cathedral is the largest cathedral in the UK and actually one of the largest throughout the world. Its architecture is astounding and its archive unique. And the devastating fire of Notre Dame last year is a stark reminder that digitization can play a crucial role in preserving our heritage. Liverpool Cathedral's winning application will see the digitization of a completely unique set of 100 year old drawings by the original designer of the cathedral, Sir Giles Gilbert Scott. Their application pointed to social, educational and tourism reasons for having this great collection digitized. And as the drones have previously been stabilized by volunteers, they are already in a fit state to be digitized and then made accessible online. Something that they haven't been able to do, obviously, whilst the cathedral was closed due to the pandemic. And so a huge congratulations to Liverpool Cathedral. And I honestly can't wait to see these amazing drawings myself and obviously help others see, the, see and appreciate them too. Can we have a small round of applause for Liverpool Cathedral, please? So, a huge, congratula a huge congratulations to Liverpool Cathedral for their successful application digitising the drawings of Sir Giles, Sir Giles Gilbert Scott. And finally, the third of our successful applicants will be announced by Paul on behalf of our judge, Joe Blyton, who sadly is unable to attend live. Paul, back over to you. Thanks, Casper. And so with, with Jo's blessing, I will now read out her message. Hello, my name is Joe Blyton and I'm a freelance archivist. And over the last 10 years, having worked across charity, business and local authority archives, I've worked to catalogue and preserve a wide range of materials. And I've worked on projects to open up collections and increase awareness and access. Having looked through the shortlisted applications, I'm very happy to announce the third winner of the TWA digitization grant for 2020. And that is Merton Heritage and Local Studies Center with their project, Picturing Modern Merton. Uh, Joe goes on to say, this project will enable researchers and the public to access a photographic collection that documents life in this part of London from 1945 to 2000. The collection consists of approximately 5,000 prints and 2,000 colour slides and negatives. And this funding will allow the Merton Heritage Centre to digitise this collection and expand the range of material currently available via the Merton Memories website. This was a great application. The photographic collection itself captures, captures key aspects of social, economic, environmental and cultural change in the area. The application contained a lot of ideas about engaging different community groups with this collection and project. And Merton have also clearly thought about different audiences and how, how each might benefit. Their plans include recruiting a number of heritage volunteers who will receive training in research, cataloging, display work and collections care, a great element of the project. 
Their plans around improved accessibility and substantial in-house support in terms of staff time also made this a very strong project and a worthy winner. And so, okay, again, can we have a small round of applause to congratulate Merton Local Studies on their winning application, please? A, a huge, huge congratulations to Merton Heritage and Local Studies Centre. I think I've just seen a message coming from Sarah there as well from the, the archive. So uh, the project is Picturing Modern Merton. This year was certainly not an easy selection for the judges. We had a tremendous application. We had a tremendous amount of applications from a wide range of UK organisations, from all of us at Townsweb. And on behalf of our panel of judges, may we extend a huge thank you to all who applied. So what's next? We will be celebrating, celebrating details of the successful applications through our blog. So please do keep an eye out for this and join us in celebrating these wonderful projects. We will shortly be contacting all applicants and we will be also be informing our shortlisted organisations about their offer for match funding. We are very keen to continue supporting all applicants. So if you have any questions or require any particular resource or support, then please do get in touch. And we will also be sending out some feedback surveys to help improve our grant where we can and any recommendations would be greatly appreciated. So a huge thanks for joining us this afternoon and celebrating the success of our 2020 digitization winners. We hope you stay, stay safe over the festive period and wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>